every time you flush an ordinary lavatory, you're throwing away 10 litres, maybe two gallons of expensive drinking water. And we have a terrible world water problem. Lack of drinking water contributes to the death of 4,500 children a day. This is a $250 billion problem, and it's going to require just as much of an investment to come up with a solution. Perhaps this is why the toilets of the future may use no water at all. The first thing you notice about it is that there is no water connection. It is, in fact, completely waterless. Another futuristic hopeful is the composting toilet. It's just a large opening with a chute that connects to the composting tank down below. The user will do everything that they would typically do in a toilet. Waste and toilet paper will enter the system and it will drop down by gravity to the composting bin. Over here, we have a small container with what we call bulking material. And this is really pine shavings. And the user, in fact, is participating, you might say, in the maintenance. After they've finished with the toilet, they will take a handful and drop it down. And what that does, it actually helps create the proper texture inside the composting system so that the breakdown of waste can be accomplished. We have here the composting container. There are several of these in the structure that serve all of the toilets inside the building. In the composting bin, body waste returns to nature. Millions of tiny creatures break it down and eat it up, just as they would on the forest floor. A system of fans keeps the odor of the process from creeping up the waste pipes. After a year, most of the water has completely evaporated, reducing the waste to just one-tenth of its original volume. And it smells just like soil. When it does come out, it no longer has a resemblance to feces. In fact, not. You can see some of the compost worms and other insects that have broken down the waste into a source of micronutrients, which are crucial for the soil, and also it's got a high humus content, which means it helps uh, improve the soil's ability to support life. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation in Annapolis, Maryland, has been utilizing the same composting process for over five years. We just started to take compost out of the bins after three and a half years. It works wonderfully. As you, as you look around, you can see that the grass where we have put it is higher and greener than the grass that surrounds it. Are composting toilets really the way of the future? They still have a long way to go before they'll be fully embraced by the public. The problem is, people aren't going to give up convenience for less convenience, even if it's the right thing to do. We need to turn to something that is beautiful, odorless, convenient, pleasant to use, and does good, not harm. Environmentally, it would be better if people used composting toilets or earth closets, but the trouble is they require a lot more effort. Whatever your preference, and whatever you call it, the toilet is one of the unsung heroes of our civilized world. But we need to become more environmentally conscientious before we'll truly be sitting pretty. Velkommen til Sveriges kuleste hotell.